I have some delightful news for a change. Scientists have created the world's thinnest pasta. Yes, these noodles are invisible to the naked eye, and at just 372 nanometers across, they are thinner than some wavelengths of light. The scientists didn't just make this nano spaghetti for fun, even though I really wouldn't mind if they did, because I am delighted. But actually, when these nano noodles are clumped together, they might make a really good new bandage material, because the pores between the noodles are just the right size to let water through, but not bacteria. Plus, they're made out of starch, which resembles the microscopic structures that support our cells, and this could support faster healing. Scientists have made nanofibers out of starch like this before, but they used a special purified starch that takes a lot more energy and water to produce. These scientists were the first to use plain old white flour, just like any old pasta. Their method wasn't too different from making regular spaghetti. Instead of mixing flour with water, they mixed it with formic acid, which is usually something sprayed by agitated ants, but in this case it served to uh, unclump and detangle big starch molecules. And then, instead of pushing this dough, if you will, through small holes, they pulled it through a long hollow needle, wait, in a technique called electrospinning. Essentially, the starch mixture picks up an electric charge here at the needle and then is attracted to the metal plate over there. It gets spewed out in a long noodle until it clumps together on the plate. We're a long ways from nanopasta band-aids, but we can at least answer one big outstanding question. Can you eat the world's thinnest pasta? And the answer is yes. Adam Clancy, one of the study authors, tried a mat of nanopasta after sniffing it to make sure all of the formic acid had evaporated, and he said it was chewier than expected, but altogether not very flavorful. He thinks it could use some seasoning.